our terrific analysts. And David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Johnson is out there at DeRozan. And it's Vucevic. Then it's Ball. And it's Levine in at the two. And for Golden State, Green down low with Looney. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Poole in at the two guard. Two teams badly needing a win tonight, Greg. Some desperations on both sides. And it's easy to start second-guessing yourself, Kevin. You, you want to make adjustments, but also stay true to who you are. And it's the Warriors to start out. Here's Curry. Stolen by Ball. Last break, here comes Chicago. Ball's running. Levine wide open. And it's Looney with the rebound. On offense, here are the Warriors. Poole, the pass to Looney. On the wing, Wiggins. Outside, Curry. Count the basket. Well, it's kind of unfair. If you're that great a shooter from distance like Steph is, and then you combine with how great he is around the basket, hard to handle. And last year, just a tough one for Looney. Just couldn't find a way to stay on the court. Grabbing that jersey for just 20 games last year, and every time he seemed to recover from one nagging injury, another one would pop up, and Looney very frustrated with how last year went, and so were his teammates. So it's the Warriors now, following the miss by DeRozan. Four on the shot clock. Cool. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Vucevic. On the wing, Levine. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And in flashes, Levine has shown he can be a star. Now he has to put it all together on a consistent basis. Bulls shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. To the middle. Here's Poole. No good on that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Well, Kevin, Steve Kerr gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. Going into the game, he knows DeMar DeRozan will go to his pet move time and time again. Coach said he's so consistent. You prepare for him to drive the ball, then pull up, but you still can't stop it in real life. So they'll just do what they do and hope that it's enough to slow him down. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. It's good. Yeah, and that's exceptional body control from Levine, contorting himself nicely for the contact and finish. Here's Poole. That's the Looney. On the wing, Wiggins. DeRozan defending. Here's Curry with the three. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Curry's got five. A catch-and-shoot opportunity for Steph. It's just effortless. Levine, the bounce pass. And it's Vucevic missing. The Warriors have gone two for four from the field so far today. Pool shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Vucevic. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Finished the season last year around 80% from the strike.
Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Different look here for the Warriors. By Elitza, he's checked in for Kavan Looney. Igudala comes in for Draymond Green. Porter's checked in for Wiggins. And it's Damian Lee in for Steph Curry. Both shots good from the strike. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter. The eight-footer, and he hits the jumper for two. The Warriors leading. Porter looking it over. A three. And the Warriors miss again. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Warriors lead by one. Live from Chase Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game uh, stats-wise? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Porter is up there with Iguodala. Then it's Nemanja Bialica, and it's Lee in at the two. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Now here's Porter. Well, it seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA, and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John Moran, I, I think he's got a chance to be one of the greats. And, and any list about the future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I, I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A, a terrific, terrific player. Three terrific kids. You're right. <laughs> and here are the Bulls now. They trail by one. <laughs> Dosun moves. Shot is off. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Outside, Porter. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And it's important that Porter stays aggressive. But when he does this, it helps force the D's hand. The Warriors have gone two for two in the game at the line. And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. And the Warriors making a change here. Toscano's checked in. And Chicago also making a switch. Whitey's checked in for Mr. Clutch. And the second free throw, good. And every year, Porter seems to get better. His three-point shot continues to evolve, and he's embraced taking on more responsibility. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, the Bulls have a new front office. Branching out from the Nuggets Brain Trust with new team president, given Denver's success identifying and developing young talent with a win percentage that's climbed year after year, there is at least some optimism that the Bulls will be able to build a similar and sustainable winning program. Guys? Wouldn't that be a story? Thank you, David. Here's Chioza. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Passes it to Moody. Three-pointer. And Jones pulls it down. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. There's a minute left in the second quarter. Here's White. There's the dish to Bradley. Here's 
Here's Toscano. He's guarded by Williams. Chioza passes to Moody. Lock at six. Over White. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Caruso. And that one goes long. The pass to Porter. Shoots. And he connects with the jumper. So dangerous off the pass. Porter has tremendous confidence in his ability to catch and shoot. Here's White. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Warriors ahead. They lead by a bucket. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. They were a determined team in the second quarter, and you saw it come across on the scoreboard. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, they've given a good show to their fans so far, executing well on their home court. It's far from a done deal, though. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for Chicago. A two-point game. And on the floor for Billy Donovan as we get into the second half. We've got ball. Johnson is out there with Vucevic. Then it's DeRozan. And it's Levine. And at the two-guard spot, his shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. to the paint shot from free throw range he gets it in there Levine's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Bulls such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow things are only working when he seems to be on the floor pass to Looney back to Curry launches a three it's all in by the Bulls and looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, for the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a game. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Curry outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Curry's got eight points. And those rebounding numbers, G.A., just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. But you can't teach hard and you can't teach instinct. And he has both. Bulls shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. And, and there was so much hoopla around Ball when he first entered the league. But, but lately, a lot of that seems to have died down. I feel like it's settling in and the change of scenery for Alonzo Ball after being number two and being in Los Angeles and being home. Maybe being away has been the best thing for him to start to focus on the task at hand. Here's Levine, and Levine throws it down. 
you see the strength Levine's added to his frame allows him to fight through that physical D. Curry kicks to leap. Golden State moving it around. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Curry. Curry's got five points in the quarter. The Bulls have gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Ball dishes two to Rosen. Over Green. It's Chicago with another bucket. And offensively, they finally seem to be coming around after an ugly first half. To Rosen against Wiggins. To Rosen with the rebound. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. We've got 33 seconds left in the third. Here's Vucevic. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Ball, the pass to Vucevic. Now Levine. He's got 11. Three-pointer. They get the rebound. Wiggins with the block. His length gives Wiggins an advantage on the D. He can get his hand to shots that a lot of other players would not be able to impact. And we've watched three so far in this one. Bulls lead by four. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented, as always, by State Farm. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Warriors. They've got Iguodala. Looney out there with Curry. And it's Poole in at the shooting guard. Williams passes to Vucevic. Takes the three. Williams can't get it to go. Warriors trail by four. Kicks it out to Iguodala. And a miss there on the triple. And here are the Bulls now. Caruso looking for an opening. Inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Shooting two. free throw missing and he's good on the second And here's Curry, who brings it up for Golden State. Trailing by five. And there's the foul. We're going Alex Caruso. That's his first foul. Kobe White, he's checked in for Chicago. First Now here's Curry. He's guarded close. 
and they pick up two. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. A defense better tighten up on the mid-range. They're much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Right, that's an excellent play call to free him up from the defense. While taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Down low, and Vucevic throws it down. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Warriors trail by three. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Curry kicks to Iguodala. And it's Bradley with the rebound. Bradley's got rebound number five here tonight. Toscano passes to Curry. From the top of the key, he buries it. Curry's got four points this quarter. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're leading by one. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Zach Levine. Yeah, more than half of their scoring has been through him. It, it hadn't been selfish either. That's the way they mapped this thing out. And they knew what a tough matchup he'd be for their D. So they just decided to ride it. Chicago making a switch here. Johnson, he's checked in for Brant. DeRozan comes in for Mr. Clutch. Zach Levine's checked in for White. And Ball's up in for Alex Caruso. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, over that last break, Kevin, we got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. This game is close, and he told his players, hey, guys, this is when it's fun, right? This is a close game, and this is when you get to show what you're made of. Right here, right now. Kevin, we'll see how they respond. All right, David, thanks. The Rosens shot is off. Higgins against Vucevic. Curry looking around. Shoots over ball. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're down by four. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What do you think, guys? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. It's funny. At this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point. seconds left to play in the final quarter. DeRozan finds Levine to halt the run. And it's Curry with the rebound. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. And that's an intentional foul. free throw is good and that puts them up by five it's pretty amazing Steph's road to becoming the man for this team I mean he recognizes in games when he should push the action and when he should pull back and just constantly plays unselfish basketball to elevate his team's success yeah, that'll ice it right there not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation and Levine puts up a deep three up again it counts because of that refined offensive skill set, Vucevic can be a dependable scoring option late in game. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. Well, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.